Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about what is the best WordPress translation plugin that is available and I have compared and tested out different plugins. I could say that, and of course there's probably many markets that say it depends and of course because I will mainly talk about Wiglot and WPML since I consider them both of the most used WordPress or multilingual plugins that are available and that they are really good. First, I'm going to talk about Wiglot and why I consider it's probably one of the good one. I already have here my WordPress website. I have installed Wiglot. If you want to check out the installation and the process, you can, I will leave the, the link to the video. The process of installation is really easy and the process also of adding new languages is just by adding it here in the, either the WordPress area or if you can go we can check out the dashboard of Wiglot so that we can check out more languages how is the work count going and for example here we have already seven languages but if we want to add a new one let's say let's add Catalan and if we go to our main website we can see here we have already our pre-established languages and if we update we can see here Catalan and if we start navigating the website that translation is done automatically we don't have to do anything more it's just by visiting the page so that could be, in, in terms of how fast it is to translate a WordPress website, Wiglot could be considered the best one in that area. But, here comes a but, that as more languages we have and as more words, more content it's going to be used, we will reach the number of words easily. So let's say here, we'll go to the homepage, I have the advanced plan, which has 1 million words. So as I keep increasing, as I say, the number of words, the number of languages, the probabilities of reaching this 1 million, it's higher than if, of course, that if I have only like two, three languages, not that much content. So it will depend on your needs. Also, if you have a WooCommerce website where you might have installed many plugins, on your WordPress website, the least thing that you want is to have a plugin issue between them, either a compatibility issue or sometimes that you have to deactivate. So in that case, I also recommend Wiglot since it's via connected and API key, as I sh have shown. This connection avoids any internal issues since it's just the translations are saved on Wiglot, then there is like a less probability or less risk of having a compatibility issue between some other plugins. And of course, if we have a WooCommerce store where we are getting multiple visitors doing several, buying several products, the less thing is that a translation plugin is doing the, or is having also an issue. So those are one of the, those are some of the things that are making Wiglot one of the best plugins available. But if we are going to talk about WPML, I will consider this one the best if you have a content website. And of course, this is the one that I'm using because I have like 11 languages. I have plenty of blog posts that I'm translating. And if I go to, to watch and read the content, I have like more than 1000 words per blog post. So that means that in case that I have been using Wiglot, I will have reached the number and I, that's why one of the reasons that I changed from Wiglot to WPML back, because I had plenty of content and I was reaching too fast the word limit that in the case, in the case of my blog and my website, I decided to use WPML because that if there is no limit on the word count. But if we talk about the how fast it is to translate the content. This, of course, will take some more time because if we go, we will have to go to the posts and do that translation either manually 
by selecting or automatically. Of course, there are some features of, the, of WPML where we can set out the content that we want to automatically translate. But in that case, we'll have to also be paying for the amount of credits that we will be using. So if we go in here to the payments, there is a threshold of the limit of use of credits. So for example, if I'm using from 100,000 to 1 million, I will have to pay 117 per month. So it's almost the same of just as like a software as a service such as Wiglot that I will have to be paying like a monthly fee if I'm using the automatic translation. In the case of WPML, there are some translation engines such as Deepool or Google that you can select and also Microsoft. And these ones will be the ones to help with the automatic translation. But still, this process is a little bit slower in comparison with Wiglot. In the case of uh, fast and accurate translation, I would say that Wiglot is the best option. But in case of a plugin that can give you that flexibility of the number of words and um, the number of languages, then WPML is another better or uh, the best option. But there is also a newcomer that I have been recently contacted that this is convey this. I haven't tested out that much. I have only tested out the free version. It's similar, quite similar to Wiglot, but here the pricing is lower. If we compare the plants of Wiglot, we can check here the pricing. And if we go on a monthly based, it's the, for 10,000 words, nearly 10 euros. In here, $5. So it's almost half the price. It's half the price and in dollars. So there is also the, the currency difference that might exist. But still convey this from what I have tested. It still has to be developed to keep being improved. But it's also a really good automatic translation plugin that it might be probably considered also in the near future to be one of the best WordPress plugins, but also with some other platforms that it can be used, such as Shopify, BigCommerce, Wix, and many others. So for sure, it's convey this could be already being considered one of the best options, one of the best plugins. So, and of course, yes, you already know the reason why I'm still using, and I'm going to be keep using WPML. It's mainly because I'm focused on content rather than focusing on a e-commerce store. If you have some questions, some comments, don't hesitate to write down. I will leave down in the description some links. Thanks for watching.